What is going on YouTube? I am Comrade, this is Comrade Jackson, and you may be wondering, Comrade Jackson, why does voice of sounding funny? I will tell you Comrade, TikTok has radicalized me into becoming cold hearted communist, for now I have been exposed to the lies of capitalism. Alright, it's over. You know, commies on Twitter really are something else. They go on about labor this and labor that. The big man is stealing the fruit of my labor. And I'm just like, buddy, in 30 minutes, I gotta be at a warehouse where I will proceed to haul ass for 12 hours straight. Just give me my damn egg McMuffin already. Anyways, a TikToker decided to touch some grass, go outside, and the first time in what was probably a while, let's be honest, we have this tweet that reads, Capitalist Empty Shelves. Let's take a look. Let me see, Evanly. Show me what the scam is. There's nothing behind it, is there, Evanly? Nothing behind it? You can you can clearly see a few packs of sugar right there. Like there is clearly something behind it. Is it like that with everything? Oh my god. There you gotta love how flabbergasted this person is. Oh my god. Like, is this our first time in a grocery store? Literally anyone who's ever went shopping knows that the shelves aren't always gonna be filled to 100% capacity. Like, huh? There's nothing behind any of this, that's- I like how she says there's nothing behind any of this, and then you can see her skip over bags which clearly have product behind them. You can even see her hand reach for a product before hesitating and skipping over it, because, well, that would ruin her clearly infallible point. Honestly, what's that? Sounds overrated. I'm behind any of this, that's crazy. This the public would panic, huh? Like, does this woman think she's made some sort of revelation? Millions of people across these United States go to their supermarket every day. This isn't some sort of thing that the public has yet to catch on to. Anyone who's ever went to a store knows that shelves aren't always fully stocked 24-7. You know why no one's ever complained about this stuff? Because it doesn't matter. We're just here to get our food and get out. This ain't some thing that the people are gonna riot over. It's just all propped up to look like there's- So, that's the video. Something I find funny is, what they're trying to say is, the stores are lying to you. They're tricking you into thinking they have more product than they actually do. But like, you look at the shelf and like, even if you assume that only the front rows are stocked and there's nothing behind them, which obviously isn't the case, there's obviously more product behind it, but even if we assume that only the front rows are stocked, well, that's still plenty of items on the shelf. It's not like they're hurting for inventories. Even if we ignore that, there's still tons of explanations. The most obvious one being that this is literally a standard practice done by market employees. It's even got a name, it's called fronting the shelves. They'll move product to the front of the shelf, and it's not even for the sole purpose of making it seem like there's more product than there actually is. It makes it look more organized and presentable, and it's more convenient for customers as well. People would probably rather they not have to reach into the back of a shelf to get what they need. And I mean, let's face it, there's no sense in restocking a shelf that's still half full. Just a lot of unneeded effort. Better to just pull all the old product to the front, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's obvious this person has never worked in a supermarket before. Hell, they probably never even worked, period. I mean, I've seen out of touch, but this is just numb. Anyways, this post got ratioed by the Twitter crowd, because I mean, this post is objectively stupid. You don't even have to be an employee of a supermarket to see that. Literally anyone who's been to a supermarket before knows that this stuff is common. The only explanation for this post's existence is that the original poster hasn't been outside in, well, ever. No, those shelves are not empty. I mean, they clearly aren't. You can clearly see there's plenty of product on the shelves. Also, it's empty because it's normal for a hypermarket to not refill its shelves continuously. Well, no one's arguing that it's empty. Like, it's half empty, yeah, but it's not empty empty. And I mean, yeah, it's normal for a hypermarket? Must be some commie LARP lingo that I'm not familiar with, whatever. Believe it or not, employees don't rush to restock a shelf after just one or two people buy from it. That's just a waste of time. Also, the West isn't currently facing massive food slash energy shortage and skyrocketing prices. Yeah, I've heard about some sort of supply crisis going on in this union, but like, I feel like that has nothing to do with this. It's a half empty shelf. There's probably more product in the store's warehouse or something. Chances are they have more than enough product to tie themselves over with. I will give this guy some credit though. They adhere to the communist ideology very well because they actively hide and censor people who disagrees with them. So, you know, points for that. And I mean, look, I'm not necessarily against removing comments, but when you make a post as objectively bad as this, what can I really say? It just makes your L that much bigger, you know what I'm saying? Sharing this is just self-snitching that you're rich and have never had to stock a shelf. Dear Western Troll slash Bot, 
Shelves get continuously refilled with new items. They won't remain empty. If they are empty, it means there's a shortage. Okay, but do the shelves look empty at all? Like, these shelves are clearly reasonably stocked. There's no reason to refill them yet. Like, do you think employees have OCD or something? What, the minute someone takes a pack of food, an employee immediately comes running out to replace it? Like, huh? Uh, apparently you've never worked grocery before. This is a rather common practice called fronting the shelves, usually performed by idle store staff. And then we have this freaking guy. Not where I'm from, people here aren't, and I think they meant to say are since they seem to disagree with this person. People here are dumb enough to go nuts if shelves aren't appearing to be filled to the brim. Press sex to doubt. Obviously there are crazies out there, but I find it hard to believe that more than a handful of people actually care whether or not the shelves are fully stocked or not. The only people who really seem to give a darn are the people in the video we just watched. Dude, I usually love your tweets but this one is just flat out bad i've worked in retail for more than a year and it's absolutely normal to pull everything to the front of the shelf and neatly organize it in rows for the customers it's called fronting you know that's how you know you messed up when you make a tweet so bad that even the people who like you won't give you the benefit of the doubt it's just laughable you know and it's astounding to me, right? Damn commies on Twitter, they'll have you believe that they only want what's best for the working class. And then they make tweets like this that show a complete misunderstanding of the working world. It's like, what business do you have speaking for me, a blue collar, when the most work you've ever done is virtue signal on a social media site? Shoot, I'd bet half of these commies are upper middle class, never had to work a back breaking day in their life. Sad. Just sad. You know, I'm gonna kind of veer off from the topic here, but you know what I've noticed about a lot of these commies on Twitter.com? They say they hate capitalism, despise it, but see, what I notice, what I notice, they are probably the biggest consumers on God's green earth. They're the ones that go to Starbucks every morning, buying them $5 coffees, they buy up all the new Apple phones, buy them really nice clothes and whatnot. And I know that people are quick to say stuff like, Well, we're forced to live in a capitalist society, we ain't got no choice but to consume these products, and they bring up that friggin' peasant comic. But it's like, no one's forcing you to buy Starbucks, Apple, them Tendos, and Disney flicks. If you don't like the company, just don't buy from them. I see all them commies say they hate Amazon. Fair enough, I don't like them either. But the difference between me and the commies is that the commies, they got themselves Prime membership. They couldn't go a week without ordering from the damn site. Me, I haven't used Amazon in years. I don't like the company, I don't like how they handle their business, so you know what I do? I don't support them. I look elsewhere to get what I want. I give my business to the people who I think are more deserving of it. See, I can put my money where my mouth is. I got more credibility than all these commies, socialists, antifas, and whatever combined. I don't know. Happy Halloween. Tomorrow's Monday, so, well, brace yourselves for another week. The march of time continues. Well, that's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, do old Jackie a favor, eh? Keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.